Welcome to Arkansas Highlights here on YHC. We're in the communities of Pickett and Rector here of late, and we'll be showcasing some locations from those towns, such as the Hemingway Pfeiffer Museum and the Carl and Matilda Pfeiffer Museum, both in Pickett. And from Rector, the Helping Hands Foundation. We'll be talking with Joey Pruitt of the Helping Hands Foundation. They have a big gospel concert each year, and that's upcoming, and we'll be talking about that as well as local businesses will be showcasing from Pickett and Rector, fine uh, merchants in those towns, and we'll be talking with them and showcasing their fine businesses, and hopefully you'll enjoy the highlights of Northeast Arkansas here on YHC. And we're now at the Hemingway Pfeiffer Museum in Pickett, and I'm along with Adam Long, the assistant director of the museum here. And Adam, a lot of history in this home. Yes, there is. This is the home of Paul and Mary Pfeiffer. Uh, they moved to Pickett in 1913. They had uh, from St. Louis. Uh, this home was built in 1910, and they bought it from Buck Templeton, who had uh, who had built it for his family. Uh, they moved here to uh, Mr. Pfeiffer had bought land, uh, wanted to get back into farming. His his family had been farmers before starting a pharmaceutical company up in St. Louis. So he moved down here, uh, bought 63,000 acres in Clay and Green County uh, before he was done, and uh, moved his family down here. And uh, his oldest daughter, Pauline, uh, would marry uh, the author Ernest Hemingway, who would uh, work here some in the summers, and this is where he wrote uh, parts of uh, A Farewell to Arms and some of his short stories. So wow, I'm very proud of it. It's unbelievable such an icon as Ernest Hemingway spending mm -hmm. his time here doing some of his best work. It is. It really is. Um, in, this, uh, in this part of the house you can see what uh, Mr. Mr. Pfeiffer had a, a bit of a challenge on his hands to talk his family into moving from a place like St. Louis down to a small town in Pigott. Uh, so you can see some of what he, what he had to do, uh, refinishing the house, buying new furniture, putting in this fireplace behind us. Um, he's got a lot of nice stuff. In here. Sure. And Adam's going to take us throughout the home and throughout the museum to basically just uh, give us a tour of the place sure. and tell us all the history that's in here in the museum at the Hemingway Pfeiffer Museum. So let's take a look. Okay. Sure. Great. So in the living room we have the uh, uh, examples of the house full of furniture that Mr. Pfeiffer bought Mrs. Pfeiffer to get her to move here to Pigott. Uh, this is uh, Gustav Stickley signed Mission Oak furniture. Uh, the large couch and then the two chairs have been, uh, have been recovered um, since that time. But this small chair here is the original cloth and everything. Um, also, you might notice in here the, the pressed tin ceilings. Uh, the gentleman who built this home was primarily a commercial builder, and he used many of the products from his uh, commercial buildings in this house. So we have pressed tin ceilings throughout and they change and get more and more ornate as we move upstairs. Uh, this is the 1899 Steinway baby grand piano sent from uh, Paul Pfeiffer's brother uh, Gus who the family called Uncle Gus as a uh, something of a housewarming gift. Nobody in the family played piano uh, but uh, Gus said that if you have a piano then when you have a party your guest can uh, uh, you can find a guest who plays the piano and the, the party can develop around that. This is Mr. Pfeiffer's office where he ran his land company. Uh, Mr. Pfeiffer believed that if you uh, gave workers the best conditions, uh, you would attract the best workers and would have the uh, most profitable company. And so that's exactly what he did. You can see in the corner an example of the quality barn that he would build for his for his families that, uh, that were tenants on his land. Um, it was just an example of the many quality buildings he would build them. Um, here on this uh, wall you can see Mr. Pfeiffer's original furniture for this office, including this desk and the record boxes. Uh, on the stairway up, upstairs here we can see the, uh, the original light fixture for the house. Uh, Many of the light fixtures throughout the, the metal portions are original, but this particular light fixture, both the metal and glass, the, the whole thing is original. It's a very nice piece. Also notice the original uh, woodwork along the stairs, including uh, this gate. Uh, when Mr. Templeton built this house for his own family, he had 23 children, so he had need of a gate for the small children when the 
Pfeiffer's moved in, however, their children were already were grown and they didn't really need this. But they, but they kept it and it's a nice feature. This is the master bedroom. This would have been Paul and Mary's room. I uh, see this uh, bed is in the style that they had, though it was not original. The bed warmer, however, is original, probably traveled with the family from Bavaria over to the United States. Uh, you have original vanity there along the fall, far wall. The bottles on the vanity are from the Pfeiffer's uh, Chemical, Pharmaceutical, and Cosmetic Company, uh, which is uh, where the Pfeiffer money originally came from. Um, <clears throat> over here, by, uh, you'll notice the, the doors in the room. There's another commercial feature of the house, like the tin roof. Um, the half glass, which is unusual for a residential home. Um, probably surplus commercial products, but they came in handy for the Pfeiffers. Uh, the Pfeiffers uh, moved in here about the time of the uh, uh, Lindbergh baby kidnapping, and so they were able to put uh, a shade on the outside of the door rather than the inside where they could check on their children uh, without disturbing them. Uh, this would have been Pauline Pfeiffer's room, the, the Pfeiffer's oldest daughter. She is the one that married Ernest Hemingway. They met in Paris in 1925, married in 1927. This is a reproduction of what their wedding uh, clothing would have looked like. They married in, in Paris, not in uh, the United States, but came back uh, quickly thereafter. Uh, this bed is uh, original to the room. That would have been Pauline's, as would the bedside table. Um, and you can see over on this wall, the vanity, we have some more products of the, uh, of the Hudnut Company and the Warner Company, which were the companies the Pfeiffer's owned, as well as a, a picture of uh, Ernest Hemingway from what he, uh, he would have looked like about the time that uh, Pauline would have met him in Paris. This room belonged to Virginia Pfeiffer, uh, the, the youngest of the Pfeiffer daughters. Uh, she would have uh, stayed here uh, initially and then moved to her brother Carl, Carl's room when he moved out. Notice the casement style windows in this room. They're unique to this room in the house. Uh, Virginia, after visiting her sister Pauline in Paris, uh, fell in love with the Parisian style of windows and so uh, insisted with her father that they be put into this room. We're back downstairs here in the dining room. Uh, you can see the original, the Pfeiffer's original china that uh, traveled with them from Europe. Uh, we have a surprising amount of, of china that has survived through the years. Um, notice also the German steins that belong to the, to the family along the top of the hutch. The two candlesticks as well as the uh, reproduction of the Raphael's uh, uh, version and child there along the, the far wall uh, would have originally been in a chapel uh, that was in this home. This is the restored kitchen to the home. The Hoosier cabinet belonged to Mary Pfeiffer, as did the uh, kitchen table and uh, the kitchen sink there along the, the far wall. This room is one of the only rooms in the house that had been uh, renovated in a major way by subsequent owners, so we restored it to its original condition, uh, in, including uh, exposing the pressed tin ceiling in here and putting in the two large windows instead of smaller double windows that had been put in by, by subsequent owners. This is the summer kitchen. Uh, when the Pfeiffers moved into the home in uh, 1913, the house had already been wired for electricity in 1910 by the builder. Uh, Pickett didn't have electricity then, uh, wouldn't get electricity until 1915. Uh, but when electricity came, the Pfeiffers were ready to uh, hook into the grid and bought these uh, electric appliances, uh, which they kept here in the summer kitchen. And Adam, we appreciate your time showing our viewers uh, the, the museum. Mm -hmm. A lot of history is certainly around Ernest Hemingway here in Piggott, and we appreciate your time showing us, and it's open for everyone to come to see for themselves. It is. We're open uh, Monday through Friday. We do tours on the hour from 9 to 3, and then we do tours on the hour on Saturdays between 1 and 3, and we'd appreciate uh, everyone coming out and seeing us. Sure, and we thank you once again. I invite you to come on down to the Hemingway Pfeiffer Museum here in Piggott.
And we're on the square in Piggott here at Jones Furniture and Appliance. And I'm along with Kevin Jones, one of the owners here at Jones Furniture and Appliance. And been here for many years here on the square. Yeah, been here about 33 years. Went in business in 1979. It's, I graduated high school in 77, and my dad opened a store in 79. So he was with us the whole time until he passed away. And so it's just me and my wife now, and Brad that works for us. It's us three running the store. But been here 33 years. So that's quite a tenure here on yep. the square. Yeah, yeah, and you, you, you've got the furniture and appliances, and you see throughout the store plenty of furniture yeah. across the store. Yeah, we keep several lines of furniture. We keep Ashley and Bassett and uh, Lane, Catnapper, and we sell Whirlpool appliances. Got a large selection of Whirlpool appliances, and we do the, the delivering setup and everything you need right here. Sure, and the appliances, yeah. you got a great selection of appliances too, even mm -hmm. televisions, high yeah. definition televisions. Yeah, we here. keep. TVs too, we sure do. Keep your Samsung and Panasonic TVs, but anyway, we can get several different brands, but our Samsung's our leading brand, but we sell TVs and entertainment centers and everything you need. Sure, so anything when it comes to the home and the furnishings of the home, we have right. got everyone covered here. Yep, yep. We Certainly do. do. And you deliver here locally? Yeah, we got delivery. We deliver pretty much anywhere, uh, you know, within 75 miles or so, and it's free delivery. And so, it's uh, we we deliver all over. It's so sure, and that's a great benefit to have. Uh, furniture's yeah. hard to haul around. So yeah, oh yeah, we've got people <laughs> covered here. So yeah, that's good and a great place here at, Ke at uh, Kevin, Kevin Jones. Yeah, at Jones Furniture and Appliance here on the square. Got your appliances. A great selection of furniture you'll yeah. see throughout the store here. So, good. It's a good opportunity to come on down here to meet the Joneses and also to check out their fine store here on the square in, in Pickett. So yep. We invite everyone to come down and see the Joneses. Yep. All right. And we're still on the square here in downtown Pickett and we're at Fresh Tech, an all new store here in downtown Pickett and we're along with Jeffrey Parks. And Jeffrey, you've got quite a history with your career being with Apple, working with Apple, and now you've got your own store here offering Apple products and services. So just fill us in with, about your store here on the square. Well, one thing that I wanted to do is um, make it easy for people to come in and touch our technology, get a hands-on feel for it, whether it's an iPad, iPod, or a Mac computer. I wanted people to be able to try it out and uh, kind of in a relaxed, com comfortable atmosphere. Sure, and you've got an extensive background with Apple, working as an engineer for many years, so you bring a lot of uh, technology to the, the town of Piggott and the surrounding area and I tell you so many people come up to me and ask about Apple stuff whether mm -hmm. it's well I'm having an issue with this uh, how do I get it repaired and you know Apple's very proprietary so it's hard to, to come across people that that can help them without going all the way to Apple so people know that they can come to you here in Piggott whether it's here in Northeast Arkansas or in the Boot Hill if they have any problems regarding their iPhone their iPad or even an Apple computer Yay, that's great. I like that. Um, that's the whole idea. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people, more and more people are getting Apple products and um, they need some place to go to service those products. Uh, we're in a small community here. I'm still getting the word out, but um, I'm hoping that's going to grow and that's what we're trying to do to get the word out right now. Sure. And you've even got uh, products here in your store that are refreshed and available for purchase? Yes, I do. Uh, I try to keep a, uh, a full line of uh, Apple computers, iPads, and uh, laptops, and iPods of a lot of different varieties. Uh, we have different generations, so we have products can, that can fit into everybody's budget. Sure, and the latest products, the iPad 2, you've got some displayed here, and uh, some of the top of the line Apple computers, so it's not just you know the old technology. That's You've got right. The up to date technology of Apple right here in your store. That's right, and and, and actually that tends to be um, the more popular. The the newer products tend to be more popular than the older products. So sure, and basic you know computer services available here as well. Right, um, we provide uh, if you want it. We provide training. We provide support. Um, you know, we we want people to become familiar with um, our, our products and services. So. Um, I invite you to come here and, and just just uh, introduce yourself, and we'll be glad to, to show you around the place. Sure, and a great asset here to our, our community here in northeast Arkansas, and southeast Missouri even. Uh, got uh, an Apple guru here. So all of you out there that are having 
issues with your Apple products, you want service, training, support, got it right here in Pigott in downtown on the square with Fresh Tech with Jeffrey Parks right here in Pigott. And Jeffrey, we appreciate your time sharing with us and our viewers, and hopefully we'll get some people down here to see you. Thank you, Tyler. Thanks very much. And we're still on the square here in downtown Pigott, and we're now down at Sugar Creek Kids along with Nancy Hardcastle, the owner here of Sugar Creek Kids. And Nancy, what a great place you've got mm, here thank you. for young kids, especially uh, the young ones for gifts and even clothing and accessories. So uh, first of all, how long have you been in operation here? Oh, about six years for, for the baby and children things. Okay. And uh -huh. you, if you take a look around, especially the gift items, so it's uh, very ideal for birthdays around the year. Yes. And even essentials such as you know the the, the carry bags that the, the mothers that they'll use mm -hmm. and many other just everyday essentials mm -hmm. yes we have uh, baby uh, clothes up to 3t in size and we have uh, we have uh, toddler uh, clothes we have uh, toys for the older children and even preteen gifts too for birthday parties and we wrap free of charge complimentary Sure, great. And clothing even available here. So, mm -hmm. uh, yes. What what ages for the clothing? Up to three T. Up to three T. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, and even seeing here uh, some uh, items such as Tervis, the Tervis right. tumbler. Yes, we carry Tervis tumblers, and uh, also Willow Tree. Uh, we carry the figurines for Willow Tree. It's real popular, and mud pie clothing. We carry. Uh, Toys by Alex and Melissa and Doug, and uh, we have cards and candles, and our cards are by uh, Dayspring, and our candles are, are by Swan Creek. Okay, and this is a great destination if you're, you're looking for one location that has it all. It's certainly the place here in downtown Pickett on the Square when it comes to gifts and even uh, essentials for uh, the young ones and this is uh, as we said the place to be and you've also got a few other things such as what uh, registries yes uh, we do baby registries for baby showers and uh, we do free delivery in the Pigot area and gift wrapping and uh, we are also on Facebook and uh, you can go to Facebook on, and look under Sugar Creek Kids and you'll see uh, lots of our pictures of what we have in here all right so come on down to see Nancy and Sugar Creek Kids here on the square in Piggott. You'll certainly enjoy your time here, especially if you got young ones. Certainly the place to be here in downtown Piggott. So come on and see Nancy here on the square. Anything else you'd like to add, Nancy? I guess that about covers it. All right. Well, we appreciate your time right. spending with us and sharing with our viewers about Sugar Creek Kids here yeah. on the square. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And welcome to the Matilda and Carl Pfeiffer Museum located in Piggott. And I'm along with Deanna Dismukes. And what a place of history this place is. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Sure. And a lot of history, certainly around the Hemingways, of course, the Ernest Hemingway, right. the Hemingway and Pfeiffer Museum just next door. And this one's just been recently built here in the last decade. Yes. Um, Matilda Pfeiffer built this house in 1932, moved in in 1933 with her husband, Carl, and their children. It sat in the middle of a wheat field, which today is forested all around us. And she was a very interesting lady. She liked to collect, she liked to learn, she liked to know things. She was a photographer. She had her own um, dark room upstairs. She had her cameras. She took beautiful portraits. She also cooked, did, she has like 1,100 books of her own mm. just to learn something. Not because she was reading fluff. Certainly, you can see the bookcases throughout this museum right. and must have been a very educated lady. Yes, very self-educated as well as college educated. Hmm. She um, read a book later in her life by Stephen Sinot that was about geodes, contacted the author and said, come see me, and began to build a collection. First geodes, which we showcase, and then later minerals and gems and that sort of thing. So a uh, great place and you'll see the minerals throughout the museum that we'll be showing off and just a lot of history around this place and this was actually her home up until yes. the day she died. Yes, it was. She died in 2001. Um, then this became a museum because that was her plan all along. Before, everything she collected was for her own personal benefit. She wanted to look at it and appreciate it and enjoy it. 
but she knew that someday she wanted it to be for the public. We love having school groups come because they're the most fun. <laughs> sure, and a lot to learn about the history just here locally in Piggott, a lot of history yes. in this town. Yes. So we'll take some time to go around and show some different things of the museum here at the Matilda and Carl Pfeiffer Museum in Piggott. And now I'm along with Don Rader, and Don, we're going to take a look at some minerals that's really showcased well here in the museum. Okay, okay, Tyler. Uh, this is one of the many things Mrs. Pfeiffer was interested in, and I think it had to do with her love of the outdoors. She got interested in the collection of minerals, and she collected over a period of about 25 years. And uh, after she passed away, of course, it all had to be brought together and collected, and we had to get it appraised. We actually had the retired curator of the minerals uh, division for the Smithsonian was here. Mm and helped to, to appraise all this for her to settle her estate. After she passed away, of course, these minerals had to be put out on display. They were not on display like they are here. They were all over the house. They were in boxes, under, under uh, beds, in closets, just wherever we found them. And, um, but after she passed away, of course, we had a gentleman came, come here and he designed these uh, cases that you see uh, where we, so that we could display we, the minerals so that people could come here and see them. We have over 1,400 mineral specimens here. Of course, we have a number of storage. The best ones we have are on display out here. Uh, we tried to sort these out. Uh, we have an area over here that is strictly Arkansas. We have another area that's strictly Missouri and Tennessee. Uh, and then the rest, a lot the rest are scattered all over the, uh, from, from all over the world, you might say. Hmm. Uh, some of our more valuable ones are in this first case that you can see right here, and you can get a picture of them a little later. Uh, we have the uh, Arkansas, of course, is world famous for its quartz crystals. Now, quartz crystals are found all over the world, but people uh, in the business know where Arkansas is, and the main place to collect them are between uh, Hot Springs in Mount Ida, Arkansas, that, there's an area there. And of course, as many people may know, the only diamond mine in the United States is in Murfreesboro, Arkansas, hmm. just south of here. We have a collection on the porch of 10 uncut diamonds that came from there. They had been on display in a museum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and the uh, museum decided to do away with their mineral collection and they gave the uh, collection, the diamond collection, to a group of, to a, uh, um, a dealer, and we found them in Phoenix, in, in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we go to Tucson every year in February. It's the biggest mineral show in the world. Hmm. And uh, there are thousands of people go through there. And we continue to add to our collection. We always try to buy one, two, three, four, five specimens every year to keep things going. And um, we have a number of specimens that you can see that are from uh, China. When she was living, China was not open, so we, she had none from there. We have since added several from there. Uh, one you can see right here is a beautiful red rhodochrosite uh, that's uh, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, but to go around and, and see the, we have children come here, we have kiddos come here. The third, fourth, fifth, sixth graders are the most fun. And in the fifth grade in Arkansas, they always start study rocks and minerals. And uh, so well, what we try to tell them is how useful they are to us in our everyday living. We've got to have them. We have a mineral down from near uh, southern Illinois called a fluoride. I asked the kids, what do you do with this? Toothpaste. That's where the fluoride comes from, the toothpaste. Uh, we have a specimen from Arkansas called bauxite. I said, your mother uses this in the kitchen every night or every day when they're cooking. Aluminum, that's where aluminum comes from. Uh, we have gold, we have platinum, we have rubies. We have a ruby right here. We have emeralds. And uh, so that's what we try to show, make, make to these kids how important it is that you can't live without the minerals that we have on display here. And uh, so we have a lot of fun showing these to the people that come through here. Sure, it's a great educational experience to come through and also uh, what an attraction for these minerals that they come from all over the world, yes. right here in Piggott. Absolutely. You've got them right here in Piggott. Absolutely, yeah. 
Uh, I've been to several uh, mineral museums, minerals on display. Of course, we don't have any like some of the big mu museums do because we see minerals for sale in Tucson out there for seventy, eighty, hundred thousand dollars a piece. Wow. Of course, we don't have anything like that because <laughs> we can't afford them. But uh, we do have some fairly valuable ones, and um, we're we're real proud of them. Sure, a great attraction mm -hmm. here in the museum. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll take a look at some other things as well. Okay. And now we're outside along with Jim Richardson to talk about just the history and just the makeup of the outside of the museum here. And Jim, just tell us all about it. Okay, Tyler. Uh, <clears throat> originally, this house was built in 1932 and 33. And originally, we're on 11 acres here, and there was not a tree on the place. It belonged to a, a farm right north of here, and it was, they had hay and wheat on this place. And as you see down the driveway here, there's trees on both sides, and we think Miss Pfeiffer planted them in the early to mid 30s. And the trees all around here, she said, I just want to see what God will do with this place. And all these trees came up naturally. Hmm. And uh, we, this is a good place for the high school and grade school kids to come get their uh, leaf collection in the fall. Sure. And we've got several trees that we have marked. There's a post right there on different trees that identify them. Uh, we had a garden out here that used to be their vegetable garden and uh, through the past several years he didn't use it. So we've turned it into a butterfly and hummingbird garden hmm. and wildflowers. Hmm. Uh, we have a man comes here and takes care of the mowing and we've got wildflowers situated down in behind us here. Okay. Now, uh, out back, <coughs> we have a fish pond. Originally, that fish pond was a swimming pool. Mm. And in the movie Facing the Crowd, that was Andy Griffith's first movie, there was a scene in, the, in that movie where all the kids in town came and jumped in this swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> we have pictures in here, and it's the movie Facing the Crowd. Wow. Right, right now, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fish pond, and once in a while, we'll have wood ducks come in, and great blue heron come in, and get them a meal. Sure. All right. That's yeah, that's uh, some great history as well. Andy Griffith shot one of his first features. That was his first movie. He and uh, uh, Patricia Neal and Carl Malden and uh, a few others well known sure. that were in that movie. Certainly. Um, of course everyone's aware and familiar with Andy Griffith and the career he's had. Right. Uh-huh. So it all pretty much got started here. At the yeah, it did. Here it, at, it did. Until the Pfeiffer right. you know, mm -hmm. um, resident. So just another interesting fact here at the uh, Matilda and Carl Pfeiffer Museum here in Pickett. And Jim, we appreciate your time. Well, you're more than welcome. We're sure. glad to have you. Indiana, we appreciate you all's time for us to come out and show the viewers out there the museum, which has a lot of history, a lot of interesting factual educational information here at the museum. So it's open for everyone to come and see them for themselves here in Pickett. Yes. Free admission every day. We're open Tuesday through Friday from 9 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. Saturdays from 11 to 4. And we're, in, we're always open. I mean, we're, we're just thrilled to have anyone come. School groups, individuals, just come and see us. Free of charge. Sure. So we'll come on out to the Matilda and Carl Pfeiffer Museum here in Piggott. Thanks again. Thank you. And we moved down the square to Feather Your Nest here in downtown Pickett, and I'm along with a customer for today, Shirley Grady. And Shirley, uh, you're a frequent customer here at Feather yes, Your Nest. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. So what is it about the store that uh, invites you to come back? Uh, they have the most unusual gifts and uh, clothing, and it's, it's just really nice. Yeah, certainly a unique store with gift items, and also yes, it is. Uh, we're looking at uh, clothing and just everyday home Ideas. Yes, yes, uh-huh. And the, um, the owners are just really, really nice. Sure. And Cordial. Mm -hmm. Sure. And really a are. long time store here in downtown Pig. Yes, yes. So it, always looking forward to come, uh, oh, come I getting do. something new here at Feather Your I do, Nest. yes. All right, well, we appreciate your time spending <laughs> well, with us. Well, thank you very much. And we'll look forward to seeing you here in downtown Pig again. Oh, well, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. And we've caught up with a few more customers here at Feather Your Nest, and we've got two ladies here. You all are? Lee Sullivan. 
Sherry Varvel. Mm -hmm. And y'all have traveled a, a ways a little bit. Uh -huh. From Paragold. Uh -huh. We Paragold. sure have. Mm -hmm. And y'all are frequent customers here at Feather Your Nest? We yeah. love it. Good deal. So mm -hmm. what's some, some of the things you like coming to see here at Feather Your Nest? Well, they have clothing mm -hmm. that uh, you don't find everywhere else. Um, so they're unique. You're not going to see everybody wearing them. And in addition to that, they've got all sorts of, at Christmas, it was wonderful because there are all sorts of ornaments and decorations. And again, it's things that you don't find everywhere else. Plus, there are things that you, there are some things you do find, but it's nice to have them all um, in the same store. And the staff is very friendly and very helpful. And we just feel like we're welcome when we come here. Sure. And I saw you try on many things here. Right? I love the clothes. <laughs> so you sure really do. like coming for the clothes. I do. Good deal. Mm -hmm. so. and, enjoy. and a lot of unique things in here. Sure. It seems like they got a wide array of uh, gift items and also clothing as you mm -hmm. mentioned. And just every, every Jewelry, day. purses. Sure. Everything. Uh, a lot of kitchenware and uh, candles. I mean there's just anything that you could want. It's perfect. Sure. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things to come see here at Feather Your Nest. And ladies, mm -hmm. we appreciate sure. your time with us. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For a truly exceptional shopping experience, visit Feather Your Nest in Pickett, Arkansas, where you will find a friendly atmosphere that specializes in providing the best of customer care and service. We offer gift certificates, layaway, bridal registry, and complimentary gift wrap. We accept most major credit cards. Located at 209 West Main, on the square in Pickett. Phone us at 870-598-1004. Down on Front Street here in Pickett at Front Street Flea Market, along with Monty Howe of the flea market here. And Monty, you've uh, got your propane going, you've got mm -hmm. some booth rentals, so just tell us all about it. Yeah, we got propane exchange for $20, and we also sell the propane tanks. Um, we also have booth rentals, which I, I don't have any open right now. Um, they're $50 a month. And, um, there's no anything you make over that, over that $50 is yours. Um, I sell furniture on commission. I sell a lot of furniture in here on commission work, and uh, we sell a lot of other little items. And uh, we've been here for for four and a half years, just about it, and uh, we've been doing doing well. Good deal. Mm -hmm. And you got a full store already. People bring their stuff in. So, as you mentioned, you've got the the rentals, but no openings mm -hmm. at this point. But surely the people need to keep in touch with right. you about yeah. the openings. Yeah, people keep in touch with me all the time in case I have some openings. Hopefully, we're going to get some more get some more boats in there. Sure, so if you got some big items, certainly you need to come down yes. and see you. Yep. Furniture, things like that, so they, can, so they can make a little money. And mm -hmm. uh, sure, sure people's gonna be coming down to the flea market right. as you got the place filled out here, so people can come by and check everything out. So uh, about the propane again, you, you offer the, the, the new tanks and the exchange? Yeah, well, it's just exchange. There's no, we don't fill them or nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just an exchange for $20. Okay. And then uh, we also sell them for $70 if you need to buy one, if you don't have a tank. We don't do much of that. Most of it's just exchange. Most people already have a tank. We sure. sell quite a bit of that. Okay, so uh, right down here, Front Street Flea Market, come down and see Monty and the gang here. If you need anything, uh, some nice items to sell, some uh, some furniture, things along those lines, come down and see Monty. He'll get you out here on the floor and get you some money in your pocket and you move some stuff. Right, so right. That's what it's all about, huh? Yeah. <laughs> anything else you'd like to share? Yeah, I'd like to. Well, the hours, the hours and days we're open. Sure. We're open Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5. And on Saturday, 9 to 3, we're closed on Sundays and Mondays. I'd be open on Sundays, but there's not much traffic through here in Piggott. But that's our hours there. We're located here on 390 South Front Street, Piggott. And so come see us. Sure. Go on down to Front Street, Front Street Flea Market. What if the IRS owes you more money? H&R Block will find money others missed. If you didn't use H&R Block last year, bring in your return for a second look review. They'll check for missed deductions and credits to make sure you get the maximum refund you're entitled to. They'll also certify whether or not your original return is accurate. They find missing credits and deductions such as education credits, adoption credit, and homeowner deductions. Can't find your prior tax returns? It's okay. They'll help you obtain a transcript from the IRS. 
Second look is free for people that want to come sample the best tax professionals. They'll complete a free second look review for returns for the current 2011 year and for the prior years of 2010, 2009, and 2008 for people who have not used H&R Block previously. For more information, visit hrblock.com or call 870-598-0511 or visit in person at the H&R Block office at 165 North 3rd Street in Piggott. And we're along with Joey Pruitt of the Helping Hands Foundation here in Rector. And Joey, each year you'll put on a concert that is very big and a lot of people come out for throughout Northeast Arkansas, even in Southeast Missouri. So we got another one lined up for this year. We do. It's uh, May the 3rd uh, here at the gym here in Rector. Uh, we're going to have uh, artists, uh, some of the artists back that we've had in the past, such as Daly and Vincent, very popular bluegrass group. We call them bluegrass. They call themselves bluegrass, but they're great entertainers. Uh, and then Jason Crabb, who was here uh, the last concert, popular, very popular in this area. Uh, the new one this year is going to be Jimmy Fortune, who was with the Statler Brothers. Everybody knows him from uh, the song Name on the Wall. Uh, of course, he wrote many, many Statler songs. But uh, we're really excited about the concert this year. Okay, so it's a thing to look forward to each year here in Rector, and people might think that, well, Rector, Rector Gymnasium, it's probably not that big of a concert, but the Rector Gymnasium, very nice, recently built, and uh, when you think of Rector, you wouldn't think of this kind of gymnasium, but it's a fine one. It is, uh, and, and we actually have, have split the seating up uh, that we'll have, uh, uh, the bleacher seats will be $10. So we're, we're hoping that anybody then can afford to come, the bleacher seats will be $10. Then we have really nice stadium seating, as you know, and uh, those are $25. And then we have uh, nice padded seats on the floor, numbered so that your ticket uh, gives your number so you know you have reserved seats and you, you get a chance to meet the artist. That's $100, that's a VIP ticket. So we have a lot of spectrum of, of ticket prices so everyone can, can come. And you were explaining to me that the production value of this Helping Hands concert is the greatest you'll probably ever see here locally, that you all, you all bring in some of the best uh, production, uh, those in production when it's sound or lighting from across the country. Exactly. Alan Branton is the, uh, the lighting designer. He's, he's done all of our shows. Uh, he and Bill Carter are big friends. And, and uh, he's, he does shows like the Country Music Awards, the Miss America, we did the Haiti benefit concert, so uh, it, that's. I mean, you get your money's worth just to come see one of his light shows. It's not. It's not like lasers. It's not kind of light show, but just it just enhances the performance unbelievably. Certainly. Yeah, yeah. So the production value is top notch when it comes it to is. helping him. And and the 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 audio uh, crew or just the, it's all uh, just just amazing. And I was explaining to you earlier how the sound is exactly. The same in every seat. The way they set it up is all computerized, and it's it's just the best sound you'll find anywhere. Sure, yeah. and y'all haven't been doing this all that long. Maybe four or five years. About four years, uh huh. Yeah. Certain, it seems like it, as big as it is, and how well y'all put it on each year. They've been doing it for years. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, it, it's it's been a great experience for me because that's that's my thing. It's what I like to do in production, and uh, and so it's been been great experience for me. Other than you know, besides the fact that how many kids, and because it. People, you know, come out in droves. Uh, we have, uh, we, we sell out every year, you know, and, and uh, uh, we, we try to, to help the, the people too. Uh, anyone who's been there knows that if, uh, that, that we have like 10 golf carts, right? people drive these golf carts, transport them in and out. And so, you know, even though the parking, you may have to park a distance away, you don't walk because there'll be a go -kart, uh, golf cart sitting there waiting for you. And uh, the before and after the concert. So, whether if you're, you know, have difficulties walking or just want to ride, they're out there. And, 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 and those people enjoy talking with the people and, and all that. So, so, if you see a golf cart out there, jump on and ride in. Good yeah. deal. All right, well, let's talk about the Helping Hands Foundation. Of course, the concert is the big attraction uh, for the Helping Hands, but let's talk about what specifically the Helping Hands Foundation is. The Helping Hands actually is, uh, is is designed to help the disadvantaged children in our school. We've uh, several of of uh, alumni from across the country, from Los Angeles to, to New York, uh, 
comes back for for two meetings a year at their own expense, uh, and uh, and we meet and and discuss with some of the teachers uh, what the needs are. And the teachers through the year, and if there's any, any need that they they're familiar with, and uh, and then we try to to meet those needs, whether it be, uh, of course, you know, right now senior pictures, you know. Uh, Tennis shoes for kids to play, medicine, the haircuts, glasses, uh, field trips. Just uh, as Leland Blackster said one time, this is truly no child left behind. I mean, and so, you know, if, if, a, if a teacher comes to us and says they have a kid who would, uh, has qualified to go to some sort of convention, we can't afford to go, we make sure that he gets to go and if she, he or she gets to go. And, and uh, if they, uh, we, tr we just try to make it where everybody's equal so that everybody can, can have the same uh, chances in, in, in school. Sure, so all the uh, proceeds of the mm -hmm. foundation go towards the kids that yes. uh, mm -hmm. are And, and we, we, you know, we purchased things like, uh, I think we bought like $10,000 in uh, musical instruments mm -hmm. this year. And, uh, and, then, and then and even if an individual needs, needs one, that, uh, they can't afford, the, and the, the, the uh, teacher presents that to us, and we'll buy an instrument for for that student to play, and lots and lots of basketball, you know. So, sure. Yeah, it's a, it, it's the most rewarding organization I've ever been involved with. It just makes you feel good to be involved with. That. Sure, and it's uh, it's great mm -hmm. that people mm -hmm. such as yourself and others they contribute their time mm -hmm. and their efforts to keep keep a program going, such as the Helping yeah. Hands Foundation. Bill Carter uh, was uh, had come through town and he saw this little girl and he got to thinking about the, the needs of the kids here and, and, and that he grew up here and that he would like to to help. And so he, he called George Barker and some of his friends and and uh, decided to start this foundation. And it, it's really, it, it's, it's just amazing. It's just amazing what the sure. foundation has done. And, and, and the concert coming up, it's, it's worth noting that if if you're if you're into and enjoy gospel music, that this is probably the premier event here in our area, whether it's northeast Arkansas, southeast Missouri, and the Boot Hill, that people across this region should take interest in this program. Exactly, and, you know, and and it's not not only that, but you know, we need the help for the kids too. Mm -hmm. The kids appreciate it. So uh, we've 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 had one student who's graduated from college. Uh, you know that we that had gotten a scholarship, and and this this year we'll have several, and uh, so we're starting to see the some of the fruits of our works coming through, and uh, but the the concert is, is as you said it's 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 premier, and so so come out there and uh, enjoy the concert. Sure, a big things happening here, director, and uh, the the Helping Hands Foundation is certainly uh, one of the premier organizations here in the rector area and it really tops it off and brings in the talent whether it's uh, you know like the music as you said but also the production value and audio and sound, or uh, audio and lighting uh, just a top-notch production all around here in the rector at the rector high school gymnasium so uh, Joey anything you'd like to share with uh, with the people out there just the date I don't know if we'll yeah, on that. May 3rd and, and you can get tickets by going to our website, which is uh, www.rhshelpinghands.org. Uh, you can call 595-870-595-3501. Uh, you can pick them up at any Glen Sane dealership. Uh, also, uh, Liberty Bank in here, Rector, has the tickets also. So go buy those tickets. Sure, and they'll have them available for you. Get yours before they all sell out because this is certainly an event that's looked forward to every year so if you're interested give uh, give that number a call or come by those locations here in Rector get your tickets because they'll go fast. They will. They, they will. sure will. Well Thank Joey you. appreciate your time Thank you. sharing with us about the Helping Hands Foundation and the concert coming up. I know many will be looking forward to the concert this year and be looking forward to going down to the Rector Gymnasium for another fine performance. Okay and, and thank you for your help. Sure. And we're in downtown Rector at Now and Then Gifts, Antiques, and Collectibles. I'm along with 
April Lindsay, the daughter of the owner, Sharon Gamblin here. And April, this is a great place for gifts and antiques and collectibles as the store name is. And people need to come down and see this place. They absolutely do. We have a really good selection. We've been in business for about 15 years and um, we've had two downtown locations. This is our second one. And we have a lot of square footage, a lot of a wide variety of items here. As you walk in, you'll see the, the bags along the wall and the different jewelry items. And, and over in another part of the building, if you walk across, they'll have many antiques and furniture and just all kinds of things. We do. On the other side, we have several antiques. Some my mom has refinished, some her brother's refinished. We also have lots of glassware options, which are really collectible still with a lot of people. In addition to that, we have some high-end clothing consignment items over there. Then this side is mainly new items. We have purses, jewelry, accessories. We have personalized items, home decor, lamps, prints, tables. Like I said, a little bit of everything. You surely do, and that's what you'll really, you'll come in and you'll see plenty, but over on the other side of the building, once yes. you go over there, you just, you're just wowed by how much is actually in the store. People will always walk in the door and they'll get about halfway and they'll go, oh, there's another side. And we say, yeah, there's, there's twice as much room over there. We also have a sports area that has Razorback items, Red Wolf items, and Cougar items. And a lot of that you can order for your hometown. If you're not a Cougar, we can still get it for your hometown. Sure. And we've got uh, plenty of schools around that will certainly yes. enjoy having their personalized items for their schools and that's what that's a real neat part of the store you come over and see the Razorbacks but also mm -hmm. the Rector Cougars and they can certainly do the same for you in your hometown so yes. a great place to come by and see all the gift items and also the home decor items that are also available so a very nice selection of things here a wide variety of uh, products to, to take a look at here at Now and Then gifts antiques and collectibles and uh, April we appreciate your time spending with us and hopefully the viewers out there will Take notice of your place here and your, your mom's place, uh, Sharon Gamblin, and come on down and give you all a visit. Thank you so much. We'd love to have you all. Sure. And now we're down at Sigsby Insurance in Rector, and I'm along with Stephen Sigsby. And Stephen, you've been an agent for quite some time here. Yes. Uh, my family has owned this agency since 1953. And uh, I've been here since the late 70s after I returned from military service. All of our employees here are, are long-term employees. Uh, the, the newest one, I think, has been here 15 years. And I have two employees that's been here over 20 years. And uh, so we've, we've had good longevity with our employees, and they're dedicated to their job and to our clients and uh, to provide all the best coverages and the best service possible. Sure, and you know, your tenure here for quite some time, and you know, it certainly gives the folks a sense of reliability with you being here for such a quiet time that they can rely on you for years to come. Yes, and uh, all of our companies are old established companies that have been around, some of them for over 100 years, um, and uh, have been with this agency for 30 to 50 years and uh, so we have long-term relationships with these companies and which benefits us and the clients in, in providing the best service and coverages. Sure. Now let's just talk about what, what you offer here with your insurance. Well, we're a full service agency. Uh, of course, the common things are automobile and homeowner's insurance uh, for other businesses and being in an agricultural area, we're uh, a, a major agricultural rider. We have three companies that specialize in agricultural insurance uh, to meet all the needs for farmers, uh, uh, for all of their property, automobiles, vehicles, uh, all of their equipment, their farm liability coverages. We also offer, in conjunction with that, crop insurance coverages. We have one of our agents that specializes in crop insurance, both the federal and uh, the standard crop hail insurance coverages. And we have another agent that uh, specializes in life and health insurance. So we try to offer a complete spectrum of coverages for any of your insurance needs. Sure. It seems like uh, whether it's individual or business, commercial, even farm, so you've got pretty much everything covered here with that your agency. Is, that's correct. We, we try to cover all the bases. Sure. And you're here located in Rector? Yes, on uh, 104 
West 4th Street, right, uh, just right off Main and 4th Street, easy to find, next to the Rector Public Library, have a parking lot between us, so no problem finding a place to park. Sure, and you should come down and see uh, Stephen and his staff here, and they've got uh, plenty of years of experience, as Stephen noted too, and they'll take care of you right here in Rector with all your insurance needs, and Stephen, we appreciate your time and sharing yes. with us. Bye thank you. Thank you for coming by. Mm -hmm. And we're in downtown Rector at Soul Sisters here downtown, along with the owner, Shelly Horton. And what a place you've got here, Shelly. As soon as you walk in, it just uh, you're just walking into a fine place with the decoration and also the, the great clothing that you've got right here in the front. Thank you. We've tried. We've tried bringing a lot of the bigger towns to the small town here. We're carrying Miss Me, Under Armour. Under Armour, we just got in in the children's. We have girls and boys, sizes four to seven. We carry girls Miss Me jeans along with women's. We have men's Big Star and women's Big Star, which are some of the bigger names. We're now carrying Red Wolf apparel along with our Razorback apparel. Sure, and very popular at this, yes, this part. Yes, yes, and we have, we're trying to get in a shoe line. We're trying to carry Skechers. We'll know more in a couple of weeks on that, but we do have new arrivals coming in from now till August weekly. Nice, very nice. and. Also, you've got uh, accessories. Yes, we carry the Miss Me handbags along with a couple of other name brands. We're getting in the Ed Hardy cologne, and that's, that's a real popular one. The women like that. We have different kinds of jewelry, and then we have bait swimwear and everything. So we've got a, a, a bunch of different things. Sure, and you've also got the tanning service yes, as well. Yes, we have level one, two, and three tanning beds. The level three is a 12 minute bed, the level two is a 15 minute bed, and then our level ones are 20 minute beds. We also offer spray tanning by appointment only, and it is the Infinity Sun, which is top of the line in the spray tanning. Okay, and what's the number to call for an appointment? 870-783-B-TAN. B-TAN, okay. 2826. <laughs> All right, so a yeah, very nice place you've got here. How long have you been in operation here? A year February. Really? Yes. So. Seems like you've come along very quickly yes. so far. And we are planning on opening our second location in Corning in May. Wow. So it's come along yes. very nice yes. so far. Yes. All right. So come on down see Soul Sisters. You'll certainly like this place. As soon as you walk in, you'll be dazzled with the decoration they have and the, the items that they have here in downtown Rector. So, Shelly, anything else you'd like to share with our viewers? Just come see us. Sure. Come on down to Soul Sisters in Rector.